Well, and good afternoon. We'd just like to thank you for uh, tuning in to the Backyard Barbecue Cooker. And what we're doing this afternoon is a two and a half pound uh, London broil. I don't know where a London broil came from, but that's a piece of beef. Anyway, as you already know, I'm just going to show you what we got going on here. We uh, inside the cooker here. I'm just going to glove up here and uh, show you what we have going here. Uh, we had this about probably two and a half hours and we got a hardwood fire going here and uh, I'm just gonna like I say show you what a little, uh, a little bit of ash off the top of the pot here and uh, couple of points here. I just want to show you what we're, what we're cooking here. Two and a half pound uh, uh, London broil here. A quarter, quarter or half of an onion and some onion soup. Kind of like a cooking stock. Now uh, what we got going here is, what I've learned is uh, there's a convection action, not in the sense of a uh, regular oven, but if you'll notice, uh, there's a baffle, and I have a, the fire grate here, and there's one, there's, these are actually burner grates from a gas stove, and what's going on here, there's an airspace in between the two, and uh, so air is allowed to, as a, as a uh, wave around this tongs here, let me hang this up, um, the airspace in between the two allows the, the air to be heated in between. So you can get like uh, what I call it the oven effect or kind of a convection type. Not in a sense, but it's kind of a modification of the term a little bit. Uh, airspace kind of provides a little bit of a buffer zone so your, your temperature is more controllable. So uh, during this cook here, I've actually took him it's taken a lot of uh, practice to to uh, to get this right as it were where my fingers are in the way there um, we got about probably hour and 15 minutes left on this on this cook here and uh, what I'm using there is a the pan that I'm using is actually a an old pressure cooker and what happens is that it's a nice thick metal on that. It's aluminum, and I basically took that, and modified it, and put a uh, uh, a long handle from a flat skillet. It wasn't uh, the handle was in good shape. The rest of it was bad, so I kind of kind of cannibalized the, the handle off of that and kind of reconstructed this into a. I I use this uh, this pot this pan is uh, my favorite. I do a variety of things in it. So uh, hardwood fire right here. And uh, we're keeping about probably, um, get a close up here, around 350, 400 degrees or so. Put a fresh coat of barbecue black on the, it was a nice day yesterday, no wind, so we uh, put a can of barbecue black spray paint on the outside and kind of dressed it up a little bit. Let's try to keep it painted up so it doesn't rust and everything else here. Uh, if you have your equipment, take good care of it. A um, little maintenance here and there makes things last a lot longer. Uh, at any rate, um, just kind of back up here. And uh, so there you have it. Um, well, we're going to have dinner in a little while. So appreciate your time and uh, stopping by to the backyard barbecue cooker. And uh, Thank you. Thank you once again for your time.